2.4 is continuity and one-sided limits. We're going to determine the continuity at a point and continuity on an open interval. We're going to try to uh, determine one-sided limits and continuity on a closed interval and use properties of continuity, understand and use the intermediate value theorem. So first of all, we're going to look at continuity. Uh, continuity at a point and on an open interval. To say that a function f is continuous at x equal to c means that there is no interruption in the graph of f at c. That is, the graph is unbroken at c and there are no holes, jumps, or gaps. So we're going to look at a couple examples. Uh, first of all, you can see in figure 2.5 it identifies three values of x at which the graph is not continuous. So as long as there aren't any of these, then our function should be continuous. At all other points in the interval a to b, the graph of f is uninterrupted and continuous. So let's look. In example number one here, you can see that our graph uh, is obviously not continuous because at this point right here, you have a function value where your function is not defined. So therefore, uh, you have a little bit of a hole in your graph and therefore it is not continuous. Here what you have is you have a nice little uh, break in your graph. So your graph goes from here to here and even though your function is defined at this point because you have a break in your graph therefore it's not going to represent continuity. And then lastly here's our last example. Uh, again even though uh, we do have what almost looks to be like a function uh, and everything is defined on our interval because this little point is not, uh, is not filling in our little uh, hole there, then that is also an example of something that is not continuous.